The West African Gas Pipeline Company, WAPCO, has denied media reports its pipeline has been vandalized, leading to shortfall in gas supply from Nigeria to Ghana. According to the company, an earlier statement from the Ghana Grid Company alerting the public to the destruction of some pipelines in Nigeria has been misconstrued. The Ghana Grid Company, in a statement on March 20, revealed gas flow from the WAPCO pipeline has suddenly reduced to only 6 million standard cubic feet from the contracted volume of 120 million standard cubic feet. According to Gridco, this was due to vandalism on some pipelines in Nigeria. In another statement dated March 22 and signed by WAPCO General Manager in charge of corporate affairs, Harriet Rekubrobe, the company is assuring that its pipelines are intact and available to transport gas. WAPCO's pipeline run from offshore Nigeria through Benin and Togo to Ghana, based on agreements between the Volta River Authority and suppliers in Nigeria. The company says it neither determines nor controls the volumes of gas it transports. Meanwhile, the Volta River Authority VRA says it has been assured the damaged pipeline would be repaired in the next six weeks. They are quite hopeful that probably by this week they should be able to solve some of the problems so that they can at least give out the minimum requirement. Uh, but then the explosion on the Ochogu and some of the pipelines, uh, I, their indication is about six, six weeks. But uh, of course, uh, we are not 100% putting our hopes on that.